Hi guys and welcome to your 9th or 10th or maybe even 11th Expo programming tutorial and today we're doing quite an interesting one. We're doing a rate my app dialog box. Um, that's probably not so clear. Let me try and explain that a bit better. Those are the alerts that pop up every few times you open an app saying please rate my app and then they've got three buttons usually yes please take me to the app store or something along those lines. Uh, remind me later or don't remind me again. Something along those lines. You can make them up. And the point of that is to encourage people to rate your app. It's particularly good for marketing because the more reviews you have, the better chance you have of getting into like the top 25 of your app category. So it's a good one to have particularly if you're publishing your apps. It, I'm going to be covering three main topics in this tutorial that to build this final project because essentially it is just a few different components that we've already covered most of. I'll be looking at the app delegate. We're going to use that in the feuded load method in a view controller. We're going to be looking at UI alerts, which is going to be the alert that pops up asking people to rate the app. And then we're also going to cover NS user defaults briefly, and those are just required for storing the amount of launches in memory. So let's get started so we don't run out of time. Um, create a single view application or whatever you want. I'm just doing a iPhone app. I'm not using storyboards. doesn't matter. We're not designing anything in the XIB. Our storyboard states all code. And we're going to call it uh, rate my app box. Whatever you want to call it, and create your app. And then once it's loaded, I'm just going to get rid of the landscape left and right and change the deployment target to 5.1. Go into your app delegate.m, and that's where we're going to start, and I'll explain why. If you haven't already watched the app delegate tutorial that I did a few days ago, I suggest watching that because you're going to learn a lot from it. Uh, we're going to be using the app delegate. We're going to use the did finish launching with options method, which is the first one under app implementation. It's the only one that already has quite a bit of code in it too, and that code is just creating the window, as I've already covered. Every time the app opens, this method is ran, run, um, and that's the only way to get it done properly. You could put it in the view to load of the view controller, but there's two issues with that. One is if the app opens weirdly, or you've got a push notification that links to something else, someone's created a link to your app that opens differently, or the app's crashed and then reopened, it'll only run this method, it won't run view did load. So it's important, uh, well, did finish launching with options, rather. So it's important to put it in here. So above the return yes line, and that's very important, if you put it below return yes, uh, semicolon, you're going to get a whole lot of errors, so make sure it's above that. We're going to start putting some code in to store how many times the app has been opened in memory. Because you only want the alert, please rate my app, to come up maybe every fifth time the app is open. You don't want it to come up every single time. So this is what we're going to create the memory in the phone to store that data. So type NS user defaults prefs is what we're going to call it. Equals open square brackets NS user defaults standard user defaults close square brackets semicolon. Then we need NS integer, uh, we'll call it launch count, because it's the launch count, equals prefs, integer for key, and then we need to give the key a name, so talking marks, at talking marks, launch count, make sure you remember that spelling, because that's not going to come up with type ahead, or the auto type, or whatever you want to call it. Um, you will have to remember that, so you can copy it if you want to make it easier, because if you get the spelling wrong, the app won't come up with an error, it'll just crash. And then we need to do launch count plus plus semicolon. And finally, prefs set integer launch count and full key at talking mark, talking mark, launch count. And again, make sure that spelling is correct. Close uh, square brackets and semicolon. Let me quickly explain what that code does. Create NS user defaults, which is pretty much the ability to save data on the phone so that every time you open your app, no matter whether the phone's been turned off or whatever, it's permanently, the data is permanently stored in the phone. Um, and that's what NS user defaults do, in case you didn't know. And this line, this first line and this last line are essentially just setting the NS user defaults. We're creating an integer here and just saving it in the NS user defaults, just an integer, just a number. And that number is how many times the app's been open. So every time the app opens, it runs this method, so every time it runs this method, let's add one to the integer of how many times the app's been opened. And that's launch count plus plus. You could do launch count equals launch count plus one, but launch count plus plus does the same thing. You then need to go into your view controller.m and we're going to go into the view did load method. Under super view did load in the comment, we need to put 
some code to pretty much make it all work and to make it detect when uh, it's time to show in a lot. So we need to pretty much copy the code we just did before. NS user default prefs equals NS user default standard user defaults, I believe. Uh, yep. Semicolon, and then we need to do NS integer, and we'll call it launch count again. Keep the names the same. That's important. Equals prefs uh, integer for key, and then make sure the key name is the same. So launch count. Double check that spelling. Close square bracket semicolon. And then we put our if statement. So if the app's been opened a certain amount of time, uh, then show an alert. So we're going to do if launch count is more than one, and I'll explain that in a moment. So I'll just put two dashes there just so it doesn't give the error. Let me quickly explain that. The if statement's all that matters here. This is just the same as the app delegate so that the view controller knows about it. Here's where you put your code. So if you want it to, on the fifth time the user opens the app, do equals equals five. If you want it to be every time after the sixth time, do the more than symbol more than arrow equals six. If you want to do it on the fifth time and the sixth time, do uh, launch count equals equals five, and then do these two lines, which is shift and then the button above the enter or return key under the delete key on a Mac. Launch count equals equals ten. That means on the fifth time and the tenth time, the app will open. So essentially, what you're saying is, if the launch count, so if the number of times the app has been open equals five. And this means all these two lines, or 10, then show an alert. But we're just going to do more than one so it appears the first time we open the app, just for testing purposes. So it shows up. You probably won't want that though. So then we do a UI alert view. We'll call it alert. And this is just part of the UI alert view tutorial I've already done, so I'm not going to go through this. Uh, I'll look. And in it with title. Let's zoom out a bit. And we'll say like this app why not rate it on the app store delegate nil cancel button title no thanks um other button titles will do yes and uh will do remind me later And then close square brackets and uh, alert show. And that's essentially, uh, well that's very basic really. Essentially what you're saying is if the launch count, so the number of times the app's been open, uh, is more than one. And you can put whatever you want there. That's really the only code you should be changing. And the text of course. Then uh, show an alert saying why not rate the app. So let's run that in the simulator now. Uh, I'll quickly just quit it quit the simulator because I've already got one open there and here we go if we run it in the simulator now hopefully what we'll see is we'll see the alert pop up because it will have opened more than one time or one time because that says um, yep so we'll stop it now and then we'll run it again and that will be the first time it will have run in its memory anyway and if we run it one more time then it should hopefully appear. Yep, there you go. So it's come up with like this app, why not rate it on the App Store? And then you get the options, yes, remind me later, no thanks, and you can choose what you want to do there. Um, now obviously all these buttons are just going to cancel, they're not going to do anything. This is really part of the uh, Alert View tutorial, tutorial 4, but I will quickly cover it so you guys know how to do it. I'm only going to quickly cover it because I've shown how to uh, add actions to the buttons. So void this is a new method, uh, void alert view uh, colon in brackets UI alert view star close the brackets and we called it alert view and uh, let me double check yeah we'll do that, that'll work I think uh, will it work? yes it will uh -huh. UI alert view alert view Clicked button at index, open curly brackets, close curly brackets. And then we do if button index uh, equals equals zero, then that's just user hit dismiss. So ignore it. Or you, um, you could put there, you could put, um, you could put something like 
they've hit dismi- they've- that's actually remind me later. Uh, so you could put something like a new NS user default saying in the next time they open it, show the method again, but we're not going to. Else if button index equals equals one, um, that might be the wrong way around actually for these buttons, we'll just have to test and see if it works. Then we will do, we'll just, uh, show, we'll just open up a web page. So UI application, ah, uh, sorry. UI application, shared application, I've also shown the tutorial on this, so I won't go through it. Open URL and then, <clears throat> uh, square bracket again, NSURL, URL with string, at talking mark, talking mark, www.google.com. Really what you want there is the link to the app store so that it opens the app store up. You might then also want to set the launch come back to zero so it doesn't open again if you want to do that. Uh, copy the code in the app delegate. Let's do that. Paste that there. And then set this to equal zero. Um, up to you whether you want to do that. I'm not going to for testing so that I can show you again after. But you can if you want to. So here we go. So if I click uh, yes. Okay, so I've got the buttons the wrong way around. So let's switch that around. Make that one and that zero. That should work. Unless I need, that needs to be two. Oh yeah, uh -huh. so two. Does it? Yeah, uh -huh. there we go. So that's then going to take me to the App Store. Obviously, it's not going to because you know, the App Store is not on the simulator. But if you run that on a real device, it should work. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you've got any questions, comments, ideas for other tutorials, or questions, comment on the video, or message us directly, or go to 99centsappdevelopment.com, get in touch. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to like and subscribe for loads more features, and see you for the next tutorial.